once again Vanessa here if this is your first time at my YouTube channel then welcome thank you so much I am still getting this getting into the swing of things and I am currently on the last week of the first form summer challenge and in the fifth or fourth week of the DLB Summer Shredded Challenge. I've been having so much fun since the beginning of the first form summer challenge. I, I am down five pounds, which is really good because it's not a lot. Like I know there's a lot of people that have lost a lot more, like my mom, for instance, she's lost 23 pounds since May but I don't have as much to lose. Trust me, I still have a long way to go, but I don't have as much to lose at this point in time. And I'm just taking it really gradual. I am focusing on really building my muscle and getting into the groove of being consistent. You know, I am down almost 30 pounds this year in total, so that's amazing. It's just, um realigning and reassessing what my actual go goals are and my goals are to look and feel and just be healthier in general and stronger so just a little bit about me other than that i am headed to the gym right now so i will see you then i'm gonna be getting a smoothie king this morning too for my pre-workout so see you soon well, I did a whole spiel about how tasty this was and how it tastes like a pumpkin pie and everything. I did my first reaction and I didn't even record it. So whatever. Um, hello, once again, I just went to Smoothie King. It is so close to Gold's Gym, which is really nice. I'll show you in a second. But Smoothie King is similar to Jamba Juice, but better because... It's only found in Texas, I believe. And when I've removed back here, I was really stoked because Smoothie King is like a childhood nostalgic thing that I absolutely love. Like whenever I would come and visit my dad, every once in a while, he would take me and treat me to Smoothie King if I was able to work out with him. Because whenever I was a kid, if you didn't know, I'll pop up a photo of me, but I was not athletically inclined. I hated going to the gym. I hated doing anything physical. So yeah, Smoothie King was always really good. Here, one second, I'm gonna show you Gold's Gym from the parking lot. So Smoothie King's here, and then Gold's Gym is right over there. It's literally across the street. So today I'm gonna do, so I'm going to the gym right now. I'm gonna be doing some cardio. I decided that this month I was gonna ride 150 miles for St. Jude's children's hospital against child obesity or child cancer i can't remember which one uh but that is my goal for the month so i figure if i do 10 miles for five eat for five days each week then perfect then i got i got my goal and more so so uh, a good motivation for me to get back on the bike and then also help the kids why not right so i'm gonna chug this coffee and i'll see you guys later Hello, hello, here once again, we went to the gym, did our cardio, did delts, and soon we're gonna go to the gym with Eli and hit back. So, super exciting. I weighed in at 155.5, and this is the end of the first form summer challenge, which is crazy, I mean, eight pounds is a good number or yeah yeah eight pounds because i started at 163 and it's a good number but and it was actually my goal weight so yay did it am i looking the way that i want to look if i'm being completely honest no but I am a lot more confident. I feel like I look healthy, which is nice. 
but I just want to push for more. I don't know. I've been really watching Julia Renee a lot more recently. I'm sad that I didn't find her earlier. I actually found her through TikTok originally. Then I found her Instagram and then I found out that she had a YouTube channel and she's my queen. She's also into first form, which is cool. And the better part about it is that she is also in Texas and only an hour away. She, the funny thing is, um, just by seeing her videos, she lived in the same neighborhood that I also lived in whenever, or Eli and I lived in whenever we first moved out here in September. So it's just funny how those paths cross and I'm sure I'll meet her soon. I bet, I bet. And then we're gonna kill it on a workout. Um, but anyways, so I just got our Imperfect Foods order and I want to open it up with you guys. I'm super excited. And then we can just talk about some other stuff other than just my weigh-ins. Ah, it looks so cute. Okay, sorry. Obviously, living a healthy lifestyle and counting my macros so that when you count your macros you can eat whatever honestly as long as it fits in your allotment right but that can leave to lead to not necessarily eating the best types of quality food um and making poor choices whenever you're on the fly and you can also substitute out some of your nutrition for other things on certain days or whatever but i that's why we decided to do this the imperfect foods because it's cheaper supposedly and you get good quality food so this is my first time i've never done it and i was just curious this whole box ended up being $56.40, which I think is really good. So the first thing that we got was the pizza crust, which has two, two pizza crusts and a third of the pie has pretty decent macros. It's three quarter, uh, three and a half fats, 25 carbs and four grams of protein. So that would be 12 grams a protein 75 carb and three and a half fat if you ate the whole pizza which i usually wouldn't do anyway so perfect got these cuties i love me some tomatoes because i like making caprese salads and salsa and especially with the cilantro which is a big old bundle and it looks so fresh i thought imperfect foods was supposed to be ugly foods because i ain't seeing no ugly food here We got some bok choy. I don't know if you guys remember, wasn't there a Pokemon that had bok choy that they would throw around? It was like a duck. Some scallions or green onions. We use these a lot, especially after um, getting HelloFresh for a while. They had green onions and scallions and everything. I'm super excited about this. I saw this on several people's pages, including K the KK Twins, and I know, um, what's his name? Will Grumke always talks about Primal Kitchen from First Form, so stoked to see that. It's unsweetened, so that means that there is only two grams of carbs versus like a Heinz would have five grams of carbs for a serving. So half the carbs, which is great. I also just ordered some Walden Farms from Amazon, so I'm stoked about that. We got some cucumbers. Ooh, some, right, these are cucumbers. This is a zucchini. I think this is a cucumber, and then these are cucumbers. We got all the greens. Some carrots, some cauliflower, apples, garlic. I love garlic. Some pears, some annies, which I've never had. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I remember some of my friend's kids would really like their food. They're, they're snacks, so why not? 
Okay. So I have been on a candy kick. I always make sure I eat only a little bit or serving sizes. So I actually weigh them out every time I eat it. Normally, sometimes whenever we go to the movies, I'll just count them by and then play it by ear. But I'm stoked. So a pack of these, which will make my life easier, has 15 grams of carbs. And I love gummy bears. I love gummy bears. I love... Um, sour or sour gummy worms which i've never had normal gummy worms i always had sour gummy worms and so like last week and the ones from bucky's were fire and then we got some potatoes i know i got some salmon because we're gonna sous vide some salmon which i'm stoked to show you guys Ooh, and blueberries! I'm getting my first form order in this week, and I'm so excited because I'm like out of everything. Even though, yeah, you see a couple tubs, it, I'm still out. It doesn't count. Those are like my greens, which I use every day, and I have some BCAs that I'm just prolonging. I try to savor it as much as I can. And what else? I'm gonna be recording this for TikTok too, so that's why I don't wanna get everything out yet. But we'll see. Oh, I'm stoked. So this is roasted veggie sauce. I love me some pasta and I still use those healthy noodles when I don't have a ton of carbs left in my diet for the day. But we are gonna be doing either a bison pasta with some of our ground bison or even some ground pork pasta. I don't know yet. We'll see. Some potatoes, cauliflower. I want to get some meat. How do I get some meat? Meat and potatoes. Oh. Que fancy. Yum. Okay, so got some Atlantic salmon. So for reference, four ounces of this. Oh, wow. Okay, so I wasn't sure if it was the Norwegian or the, the Atlantic salmon or the sockeye that had better macros. By the looks of it, it, it sounds like it was the sockeye because this has 16 grams of fat, which is crazy. Cause like the ground bison that I have, that's 90% fat and 10 or 90% lean and 10% is 11 fats for a serving. So 11 versus 16, whew, this is gonna be so good. Um, so anyways, this Atlantic salmon has 16 grams of fat zero carbs and 20 protein which is decent it's just again i don't have a ton of fats i could change it out and i could um like substitute some of my carbs for fat if i really wanted to which is something that i might do or i just might have a like a ton of salads that day then we got some milk bars again love me some sweets um this has Six grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. And so there's two of these in here. So I could only have like one of those a day, probably. I could have two. Just depends. It depends on what I eat that day. Oh. Have you ever heard of heirloom chicken? I've only heard of heirloom potato or tomatoes. But that's what we got in here, this guy. And I think that's it. Like, we saw pretty much everything. So I'm gonna get this off the counter. I'll be right Okay, clearly I'm bad at YouTube because I had this whole monologue and it wasn't recording this whole time. So let's run it back. So I just wanted to say I'm sorry because I feel like I haven't given you guys enough value. I know that whenever I started this channel 
and sorry about the dog. She's It was her birthday yesterday. She's still living it up. She was actually feeling really sick um, on Monday or Tuesday and she threw up and then shit on my bed and then shit on the walls and then it was a thing. So we're taking her to the vet tomorrow because that was the earliest appointment that I could get. So I'm giving her a little bit more of leeway, but she's still being a nice. So I feel like I have been doing you guys a disservice by not bringing enough value to you. I started this YouTube channel mostly to hold myself accountable, accountable for um, staying on track, which I have been doing, which is great because I know the things that I need to do to be successful in both my physical appearance, my mental, and also on what I'm supposed to be doing on YouTube. Have I been doing it? No. It will I get better? Yes. So that is what I will be doing. And it, like, I really just want to help you guys know that fitness and health is attainable. We can find easy ways to make your life easier to meet your goals. And that's what I want to talk about. And then that's why I actually got this Imperfect Foods because I want to be able to have the knowledge to share with you guys, to share my experiences with you guys. So then you guys don't have to do that. So you guys don't have to make mistakes or maybe I just give you some life hacks. I am also going to be running for the first form athlete search because I think that's, again, really important. The, one of their biggest things and one of my biggest things is leading by example. And what better way to do that is <laughs> to lead by example through this YouTube channel and to help you guys, right? So, um... Yes. So now what the hell am I going to do? How the hell am I going to help you guys right now? So the fact that the Imperfect Foods is a steal. Great. You get it delivered to your doorstep. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them by any means. I do have like a coupon code that you could, I can share with you guys in case you guys want to do it. It takes off $80 from your orders, which is what I did. Um, but Imperfect Foods... You choose what you want each week and then it delivers to your doorstep. So then you don't have that excuse of, oh, well, I don't have enough time to go to the store and or and or the food is expensive, which, yes, I understand is it, it's expensive sometimes if you're going to have quality food or if you are going to do quality food uh, meal delivery services. But we're going to work around not necessarily using meal delivery services. I will talk more openly about some of the meal delivery services that some of my friends use. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with them. I, To be honest, because I love making my food. I love touching it. I love cooking it. And so that's what I'm going to help you guys with in the future. And that's what I'll be helping you guys with in the future. And I think making a ton of fast and quick and easy meals that you could hyper speed cook these things in advance, um, then great. And it will help you stay accountable because everybody always says, and it's the truth, 80% of the hard work is in the kitchen and 20% is what you do all the other time, right? And whenever you have pre-cooked meals or quality foods or proteins uh, to snack on, then the chances of you not or making the wrong food choices will be a little less. I mean, you're still gonna have to deal with your mental demons and all that good stuff, but I'm gonna just try to give you as many tools. So um, let's fast forward to uh, orange and chicka chicken feta recipe that I did earlier this week that was both on my Instagram and TikTok along with a very quick and easy um, 
egg white frittata fire it both of those things i did in 20 minutes or less for both of them the frittata and end up cooking like eight different meals so it cooked for the day that i was actually making it and then all of this week which has come in clutch because i've had a lot going on i just recently started a newsletter for my fitness portion and i've had my my current one that has been with american brands my company for the last year plus and that one is about commercial real estate and yeah so if you ever want to get in the know let me know i'll add you to the newsletter for either one because i'm actually doing two different ones one's about commercial real estate and marketing and then the other one is about fitness and marketing so lots of stuff that i've been working on super cool so on that note let's freaking get it and i know last week i promised i was going to share our adventure from the river walk but time has been crazy for me and i also didn't feel like you guys cared so i might post it later i don't know maybe this friday but i hope to see you guys soon um nobody's commented on the last video so if you want to get a 20 dollar gift card for the activewear then go and do that now and the first person to comment gets twenty dollars yay and before i leave you just remember one good thing to do i'll give you three good things to hold yourself accountable one get good quality food there's a ton of places not just in perfect foods but I know HEB does it, and I'm sure Safeway does it in California. Um, they do curbside pickup for free. So if you don't have time, make an order on their app or online and pick out all the good foods that you want and pick it up on your way home. That cuts down your time a ton. Second thing, meal prep will also save you a ton of time during the week and third thing incentivize yourself so that's what i do with eli because that's not he, he's getting into fitness but it's not his priority necessarily but he loves to prioritize gifts and stuff so um what we've done is if he continues to work out three days a week until the end of this challenge or to this the the dlb shred challenge then we will get him some bulgarian sandbags because he loves himself some action bronson i love myself some action bronson because his fitness like him in general is great i love his show fuck that's delicious and also his fitness transformation is insane uh and super inspiring so we're gonna get him those. Also, we just started to use an app called Paceline, which has been really fun. Um, they incentivize you to work out at least 150 minutes a week. And each time you do that, you get prizes like money or free subscriptions or Amazon gift cards everything like that so i'm gonna drop the link down below if you want to get paid to work out then definitely do that i think that's a good enough incentive to get yourself money and also healthy right so hopefully that's enough good stuff for this week and i will be back on this weekend sometime i don't know yet. but i love you so much don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.
like and subscribe. Arr, arr, arr.